Hi, I'm Marcus from CrossTech and today I'd like to introduce you to Telegram uh, integration with Breathing Forms. Uh, Telegram is a mobile and desktop messenger similar to WhatsApp, except that it has a bunch of features that WhatsApp is missing. For example, it provides the opportunity to, um, to add a bot to your, um, um, to, your, to your contacts or to your um, groups that you define uh, in Telegram. And um, you can set up Telegram and Breezing Forms such that uh, uh, form submissions are going directly um, to you or to the, um, uh, to the groups you added the bot to. Um, in this tutorial, I won't explain how um, the, uh, the Telegram plugin uh, and Breezing Forms is installed. Uh, for that, I recommend that you go to uh, crosstech.org and see the documentation area to check out how it's installed. I just want to focus on how it's set up in the form itself. So um, I'm going to create a new quick mode form, although it would work for the other modes as well. And um, let's call it Telegram Setup, give it a name, add a new page and a new element. message. What also would be nice is if we would have a file upload field so you can see that it's working with uh, file uploads as well. Uh, it supports, um, and that's a good thing about uh, Telegram, uh, it accepts photos, videos, but also uh, regular um, documents. So we are not limited to images and videos. And that would be our form then. So now there comes the part where we are focused on, namely to set up Telegram. And if you are opening Telegram integration, you'll see um, some explanations here. And what is some really important for the basic setup is the API key. Uh, the API key um, you can obtain by uh, calling the um, so-called Godfather bot. The Godfather bot is the, the main bot at Telegram that enables you to create further bots that you can use. Um, it works like this, that you create um, a, uh, your own bot uh, at the API key that you will receive later and then all the submissions are going to that bot. So um, what you need to do in the end is to add the bot that you're creating here uh, to your contacts or uh, into um, to any group that you specified in Telegram and then you will be able to receive uh, the messages. So by click clicking this link um, it will open the bot father and you can create a new bot by the command new bot. Uh, then the bot father will ask you um, to give it a name. So call it Telegram BF demo and then he wants to know a username for the bot so we're going to use Telegram underscore bot it's very important that it ends with bot oh maybe we just picked it already Hold on. let me call it slightly different if he doesn't accept it So, something he doesn't like, TeleDF demo, what, yeah, this one he likes. So, and then we get the API key, which we simply need to um, add here in our API key field. And then um, you would like to choose a password yourself, I'll give it demo. Uh, you only need that password if you're communicating directly with your bot. So if you're using um, groups, which is recommended, uh, you can skip that part of the password entirely. But for demonstration purposes, um, it's okay for now to use that. So, and then the most important thing after setting up this is to check that the Telegram status is okay. Uh, if it's green and okay, it means um, your bot is up and running and functioning. 
Um, if you would see an error here, um, I would check for two things in the first place. First, that the API key provided by the bot father is correct, and second, uh, if your firewall is uh, somehow blocking um, outgoing connections. And then you need to enable the bot, or better said, the uh, integration for Telegram. And Oh, wait, what was the name of the bot? We yeah, have forgot to tell you something. Uh, you need to add the bot that you created. Uh, the bot father is so kind to give you a direct URL. So you can add your previously created bot um, into the conversations. And then we just enter uh, our password. And this would activate the bot to send you the notifications from the uh, forms. So, and then it should be working right now. Hi. Please send me a pizza by 5 p.m. Thanks. And um, I'm going to add a screenshot here. Sending it. And if everything worked well, um, we should see a notification. There you go. Here you have the record. New record received. The message. And um, the image we just uploaded. There are a few options more that you would like to see, probably. Um, for example, you know that probably from uh, from the regular email notifications that you can display the, the head data, like um, when the submission has been made and by whom and things like this, that you can enable um, by checking uh, display head data. You can also exclude fields. Um, for example, if you have hidden fields or fields you just don't want to see there, you can just add um, any uh, field name here per row and then uh, prevent um, this field from showing up. And then you have attached experts uh, where you can um, attach um, the, the, last, uh, the last submission um, directly into Telegram. So let's save that and then check how this will look like. Thank you. The pizza was awesome. And then we should see another notification. This time with a few more attachments. First is the picture. And then as you can see, it's showing the, um, the file exports. Uh, if you want to stop uh, the bot from sending you messages, simply enter stop and the bot will stop to send you messages. One more test, make it quick and you see no message at all. So that's basically it. Um, as I said in the beginning, it's recommended that you um, that you use groups. So uh, you could at any time uh, uh, put the, um, put the uh, put the Telegram bot that you created to any group that you specified, and then um, all collaborators that you have in that group would see the same submissions and everything. And from there, um, you can work on the data or just getting informed everybody um, that there is a new submission. So that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching and see you at CrossTech. Bye.